Hey everyone, Ashley here from Fleet Feet. Today we're reviewing the Cloud Swift 2.0. This latest generation of the on Cloud Swift is designed specifically for running in city streets. So what does that mean exactly? The midsole of this shoe is cushioned with helium foam pods, and that enhances the ride with the speedboard technology that's in this shoe. So you'll really notice from landing to toe off that there is a bit of a propulsive feeling. It's cushioned, but it's also firm. Two of the words that several of our reviewers used were propulsive, and snappy. And I can tell you from experience that really is how this shoe feels. So let's get into some more detail about the foam itself. I mentioned that it comes from On's Helion foam, but what is that exactly? It's this lightweight foam composition that On created to balance cushion and energy return. They took the foam and formed it into these cloud elements for dynamic cushioning. The way it works is that each pod in the midsole of this shoe collapses and then springs back open with each step. And that's where you really get the propulsive feeling that I keep describing with each step. Here's a quote from one of our testers. I really noticed the way I seem to roll forward with each step. On shoes have a distinctly different feel than others. And I really like this one in particular. That's a really great call out. They do have a unique feeling and we definitely have to give credit to this unique midsole system. Another key performance feature that we need to call out with this shoe is On's speedboard technology. This speedboard is a piece of plastic layered between the midsole and the footbed. Every time it flexes, it loads with energy and then snaps back into shape when you take off. And that creates more pop with each step. So the combination of the compressing and springing back of each of these pods combined with that speed roll technology really helps you to, as soon as you land, to get right off of the ground to keep going. Moving on from the midsole, let's take a look at the outside of the shoe. You'll see this sort of split here in the middle of the shoe, and then on each individual pod, there's a sort of different pattern of tread. You'll notice there's less traction tread in the middle, more on the heel and the toe, and that's really just to mimic where you're landing and where you're towing off. These are the areas of the shoe that you need the most traction. This sort of canyon that exists in the middle of the shoe from the heel up all the way to the start of the forefoot is designed to help with movement in the shoe so you have some differentiation between the movement on the medial and the lateral side of your foot. If you wore on shoes kind of in the early days, you may have noticed that this was a little bit of a different shape. They've updated the shape of this over the years to make sure that nothing gets stuck in here when you run because that could be an issue. Moving on to the upper. On is known for its sleek, minimalist look and the shoe is no exception. It has a mesh upper for smooth looks and top performance. And On's designers use two layers of mesh in the upper. A thin perforated outer layer vents heat, while a soft and smooth inner layer feels comfortable against your foot. A unique feature of the Cloud Swift is the tongue. Unlike conventional shoes that have a tongue that's separate from the rest of the shoe, this tongue is actually connected. So it's not gonna end up moving side to side and it stays in place the whole time. You may think that this makes it more difficult to get the shoe on, but you'll notice that it has a pretty wide gap here and it's quite easy to pull on and off. And then you'll notice how high the tongue comes up and this little heel cup here is really nice and narrow and you can use both of these to help pull the shoe on. It also has a bit of structure around the heel counter. You'll notice that around the bottom here and then up and around the top. And this really helps to secure your heel in place and add a really nice fit. You'll see the addition of an overlay in the middle here to help snug up the midfoot. And then in the front, it's really just a single piece. It has a lot of room and adds quite a bit of breathability. One thing to call out with the lacing of this shoe, while it does have traditional lacing all the way up, you're not gonna find an extra eyelet like you do in a lot of running shoes. So if you're used to doing the marathon lace, the heel lock system, that will not be available in this shoe. However, I will tell you as someone who utilizes the marathon lacing system or the heel lock system in almost all of my shoes, I have run in this shoe and many on shoes regularly and have not had issues with heel slippage. And I think part of that is due to how well the heel is shaped in the back. So moving on to the inside of the shoe. 
While the On Cloud Swift 2.0 is considered a neutral running shoe, several of our testers called out how the shoe does offer a fair amount of arch support, which created a bit more of a secure feeling or fuller feeling shoe. But what makes the 2.0 version different and better than last year's model? First, On reconfigured the cloud elements in the midsole of the shoe. The pods in the heel are softer for landing. You'll notice I can push them in easier, while those in the forefoot are designed to help you snap off of the ground. So there's extra cushioning, but it's a bit denser. The midfoot cage is also slightly different. The straps on the outgoing model had some stretch to them, but the cage on the new Cloud Swift is more static. I can't really pull this very much. This updated version adds more security on the lateral and medial side of your foot to create a nice hugging sensation. Other than that, the two models are relatively similar. So if you liked the first version of the Cloud Swift, you're definitely going to like this one too. So want to learn more? Check out our written review. There's a link in the description below, as well as a link to fleetfeet.com where you can browse all of On's shoes and apparel and make a decision for yourself. And finally, if you have not yet been fit for shoes, please check in with your local Fleet Feet head in for an outfitting appointment to find the right pair of shoes for you. Thank you so much, you all. Have a great day.